Hi YouTube, this is the Homeschooling Perfectionist and as promised I wanted to go over my STEM station, STEM slash uh, writing station. So I finally um, completed my, my STEM bins, these are just six, um, but I have other examples that I'll be switching out and I will have a link in the description box below of where I got these um, labels um, and just anything else because there's so many different things that I have here. So I will definitely um, link it in the description box below. Sorry, I had to kneel down. So anyway, here are my stem bins. We have Lincoln Cubes. Ugh. Okay, and then we have um, Play-Doh and toothpicks. I just got one set of toothpicks for now. And so we have different, I have different things, building bricks, um, geo board, popsicle sticks, and clips. This, these are the ones I, I created. But she had some where you can actually put your own images in there, swap them out. And then I have colored popsicle sticks. And then on the bottom, I have little task cards that I put on rings and I laminated them. And um, they're just little task cards so he can do um, different activities. So this one I'll probably pair with his building bricks or something like that. And then he'll just have to, you know, try to build a tent or just really cool ideas. And then this one is the one for toothpicks. And as you can see, the company um, that I purchased these from are from Play-Doh to Play-Doh. Um, and as you can see, the toothpick structures, I have different cards for those. Some 2D and then some 3D. And then 3D using toothpicks and Play-Doh. This is another great activity that you can use as building bricks or popsicle sticks and clips. And these are just famous landmarks. You can try to just use his imagination and build those. I have that. These are my geo board cards. And again, I will provide in the link where I purchased these things because I got them from teachers, payteachers.com. So I'll just, you can get them from other places, other sources. Just great um, ideas. As you can see right here. I put them all in here so you can just grab them. And these are what we will use for our, our colored popsicle sticks. From Fairy Poppins for the STEM Laboratory. So these were great. I purchased these as well. 2D. And I think there's some 3D in here. Yep. These are really great ideas. Another thing that I did was I... Um, I myself made some greeting cards and um, I thought these were a really great idea so that way he can get in the habit of sending cards to people he has a little message and he'll call and say something on there that is name and then they're from his, his initials are DJM and so I just you know branded it a little bit DJM greeting cards they're from him and I have some Father's Day cards, Mother's Day cards. And then if, if someone sends him a gift or something like that, some thank you cards he can send to people. And then some happy birthday cards. So these are really a great idea that you might want to incorporate. Um, and then as you can see, here are my drawers that I have that will help me organize what I'm supposed to do each day along with my planner at the top so that I don't forget because sometimes I will forget to um, take attendance. So this way I won't forget because it's right here. And then each bin, I don't necessarily go in order. So what I did was I created an incomplete and a complete slip. So if, I, if I've completed that bin, then I'll just flip it over and it'll say complete and that way I'll know just in case I don't go in like order depending on the mood that my son is in I may not go in order so um, that's why I did that so I have bins for what we will do each day um, 
the workbooks along with an activity. Um, oh, another thing that I printed out, I forgot all about. This is from another thing that I purchased on Teachers Pay Teachers. This is Living Math Exercises. I'm gonna have to go over this on another video because this is very detailed, but I also laminated these and um, made them double-sided. And there's addition in here and all kinds of things. So he'll do um, a workbook and then he'll do an activity. And um, I have it sectioned off per day. This will let me know do a language binder, my language arts binder, because the binder's too thick to put in here. So I have that somewhere else. Each day I have something new that I'm doing. Along with the uh, incomplete and complete sign. So um, I will be in another video. I will be talking about how I plan my whole um, school year, lesson plans and everything for the whole entire year. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.